Okay, hi, thanks for following us along today. Today we're doing a free giveaway contest visual inspection of a, of a community. And we're creating it for a couple different reasons. One, we wanna give back to the community we serve. And two, we're actually making a series of videos for do-it-yourselfers, mainly board members or even managers that wanna walk around a community and be able to pick out the things that we're picking out. Just a construction defect or, or leak or maintenance issues. We're gonna take you around so you can follow us and as we pick through a building and say, check this out, look at this, I'd wanna open this up or I'm concerned about this. So, follow me around. Hi guys, in this episode of the Do-It-Yourself Inspection Series, we're gonna be looking at chimney crickets, swollen siding, and deck rails. So here we're looking at a couple different things. One, you can see the you can see the patch. It's about the size of a soccer ball. That was a blister in the in the paneling or in the panel siding caused from an improper window installation. We see it in communities all the time where the boards say, hey, look, the bylaws say something about glass replacement being an owner's responsibility. And when we've when we've talk to lawyers about it, they say, well, glass means when little, little Billy's playing baseball in the house and the ball goes through the glass, you need to replace your glass. However, the window frame itself has a flange where it's nailed onto the siding, or nailed onto the framing. The siding comes over that, the trim goes over that, so actually your window frames are part of the association. And so oftentimes we'll hear or come across boards that say, well, we, we make the owners replace their windows when they're old. And so what can happen is if somebody does a second story window improperly, then the water comes down, damages the siding, and even comes into this window and damages the interior and around the wraps, your great idea of making each unit owner do their own side or do their own windows has now caused a bunch of damage. Okay, so as a follow on to that siding, this is a T111 panel siding. It's probably 40 years old. Um, here's our, you can see a nail and a nail driven flush. So if I hit it too hard with the hammer, you're gonna see a hammer head, but it's driven, driven flush like it should be. Now we start seeing some swelling the panel is actually swelling around the nail head. Here's another piece, if we can get our camera in there, you can see the dark line of the fibers and the white paint. So these lines, it's actually kind of underpainted. So what happened, paint guy is rolling it on and the roller isn't getting into these joints. So he needs to back brush, he needs to take his brush, work it in there, so that we don't see wood fibers that are left exposed. And then you can see the, actually the edge of the siding has a little pocket in it that didn't get paint in it. The siding claim of the LP siding claim, it didn't get paint on the bottom edge of the siding because they were working here. They didn't get back up into the bottom and it swelled out. Okay, so we're on a, we're on a little hillside where we can look at the roof. You can see the back of the chimneys have what's called a cricket. And so if that cricket wasn't there, the water would flow down and hit the backside of this chimney and hang out. And so you'll get some pooling or you'll get some water leaks in the ceiling right where the uphill side of the chimney and the, and the roof face. But now with these crickets, the water runs down and diverts around the chimney itself, so that's that's really good. Okay, so we're in the we're in the dark shady side uh, again. Looking at looking at siding, you can see we've got two things. We've got looks like a dent or an impact. So here's a pen. I can just push it right through the siding. So sometimes these little holes are actually indicators of it's a little bit bigger than you think. I don't know if you can hear that cracking through. So that's actually a pretty big spot. 
this is now I'm yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to replace this wall today. So <laughs> this isn't a fancy inspection tool. This is something that you have in your pocket that anybody can take a look at things with. So it's just it's just walking around. Should be hard, not crunchy. So a temporary fix. I mean the band-aid to this is take a bunch of sealant and pack over it and paint it. That'll get you three months to come back to the board, say, hey, we got a problem. Let's put a plan together. Let's at least get some type of handyman out here to replace this panel or that panel and you know, stop the water. Water's going through that first hole. Yes, I added a couple more holes, but it's just pouring, pouring through. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's band-aids until you replace the panel. Um, we've, got, we've got spacing between the styles or the verticals of your thing that's more than four inches, and the code is four inches or less. So back in the day, these were built at about six inches or seven inches. And what happens is kids would put their head through and get stuck or fall and you know hurt themselves or even slide through. This lattice was driven by the insurance carrier saying, look, until you fix your railings, we're not going to insure you. And so once you start getting into these railings, you're getting into thousands of dollars to replace them or adding pickets or whatever. So this is the vinyl lattice from a Lowe's or Home Depot that is cut down, put over, blocks that. It's not necessarily the structural element of the railing, but it satisfies the insurance company enough that you can, hey, you know what, let's put railings on a, on a maintenance plan or a two years, three years out. This will keep people from getting hurt. It's a nice little fix. So if you like this video with the, with the tips and tricks and the walkthroughs and it was helpful to you, make sure you click subscribe below. And then also click that little bell to be notified next time we post some helpful videos for you. Thanks for watching.